morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our presentation today, Scheduling Options in SAP and Beyond. My name is Martin Stensig with Vesta Partners, and I will guide you through the presentation today. We want to start out today's presentation by answering the question, why should I schedule work orders? Why is work order planning not just enough? And where does scheduling fit in the overall process? After that, we want to look at the different options that exist within SAP already, within this core SAP system. You have scheduling options within the plant maintenance module, but you might also utilize some additional functionality that the project system module brings to you. Third-party companies have done improvements to the standard SAP options and allow you a little bit improved scheduling within the SAP system. If that's still not enough for you, you can use external scheduling products like Primavera and MS Project for scheduling your workload in an external system. What you need in order to do that is an interface between these two systems that transfer work order information out of SAP into the external scheduling system and back. We want to look at pros and cons of the individual options and also look a little bit into um, which option is right for you. Let's start with answering the question, why scheduling? As you can see in this slide, scheduling is dependent on the set of work orders. Those work orders can originate in different areas. They can either be generated by maintenance plans. They can originate in the planning process that might be based on maintenance notifications that are coming into the planner. The planner then generates work orders and saves the work orders within the SAP systems. Or the work orders can be entered directly if it's um, break and work, for example. As soon as you schedule the work, it usually is handed out to the execution teams. The execution teams are executing the work and are entering the results, so the actual values back into the SAP system. These actual values can then be reused for rescheduling and optimizing your, your project plan altogether. So it's a continuous loop between work execution and scheduling that is going on and can go on on a day-to-day -day or shift-by-shift -shift basis. This is the main reason why you want to do scheduling and why you want to perform scheduling. As it says here, a plan and scheduled job may be completed at a half or even a quarter of the cost of a job performed in breakdown or emergency work. So what you want to do is you want to get your maintenance organization to plan work rather than work in reactive mode. Without good scheduling, the benefit of planning is lost. Let's look at the effect scheduling has on different areas. The equipment should be shut down at the best possible time for all involved parties. Sufficient time should be allocated for proper execution of the job. On the labor side, you want to arrange the right number of people with the right skills at the right time to optimize your resource utilization or increase range time. Scheduling of contractors allows the optimization of contractor utilization and with that the minimization of contractor cost. The same is applicable for rental equipment. Equipment only needs to be rented for the time it is needed and not for the whole duration of the job. Major tools, cranes are always a good example, must be coordinated to be available at the time they are needed. Scheduling prevents conflicts on one hand and underutilization on the other. Necessary materials need to be available to execute a maintenance task in time. This is applicable to materials, supplies, as well as spare parts. Let's look at the different scheduling options within SAP. What you see here is the Network Structure Overview screen. You can find it by following the menu path, Go to, Graphic, Network Structure in your work route transaction. It shows the individual operations and their relationship to each other. It also allows you to see the dependencies to other work orders. This screen is not only for the purpose of visualization, but allows you to create or modify relationships. Another option in SAP is the Gantt chart view. This shows your work order operations in a classic Gantt chart layout. You cannot make modifications to the operations in this screen. It is purely for visualization purposes. The next scheduling option is available in transaction IW70. It allows you to schedule a network or a complete set of work orders taking relationships and constraints into account. The 
Planning tables in SAP come in multiple variations. Planning tables allow you to dispatch work centers, usually groups of people that have the same skill, or individuals. In comparison to scheduling, dispatching is the manual assignment of work to a resource for a specific time. These are screenshots of a planning table. You have the choice between a graphical view, seen on the left side, or a tabular view, on the right side. An alternative to scheduling your work using plan maintenance transactions is using the project system module. You usually already own the license, so it's just a matter of setting it up. The functionality in the project system module is much more complete to support scheduling and dispatching of work. Customers that are not satisfied with the usability of these options usually look at the following two products. The first one is called MRS, short for Multi-Resource Scheduling. It was developed by the SAP Custom Development Team and is sold separately from your standard SAP license. The idea is to provide the customer with a very powerful graphical dispatching board that is much easier to use than the standard SAP transactions that I've shown you before. It can be installed in your core SAP system and is accessible as an additional transaction. The Prometheus Group developed an improved planning table that allows you to make modifications, for example the creation of relationships, to work order operations. It utilizes SAP scheduling to realign the operations after modifications have been made. You can also easily identify the status of assigned resources as seen in the bottom part of the screen. Work centers or individuals with available capacities shown in green, overutilized resources in red. Let's have a look at external project management systems. Primavera provides a variety of scheduling products. The two most often used in connection with SAP are Primavera P3 and Primavera Enterprise. The screenshot that you see here is the older Primavera product called P3 that is still widely used. Primavera allows you to assign multiple resources to one activity. This is a common standard in project management systems. SAP on the other hand only allows you one work center assignment per operation. There are different ways how you can map these to each other and we can help you with figuring out the best possible way for you. This screenshot shows the new version of Primavera's project management tool called P3E or Primavera Enterprise. It was designed as an enterprise system and allows the access of hundreds of people to a centralized project management database. Microsoft is offering Microsoft Project as a project management tool. Microsoft Project is gaining more and more popularity in, in the industry with the enterprise system called Project Server. Primavera and Microsoft are not the only vendors that sell project management tools that can be interfaced with SAP, but certainly the most common ones in the maintenance business. No matter which system you choose for performing scheduling, you're going to need an interface between SAP and the scheduling tool itself. This list shows companies that are offering interfaces between SAP and project management software. We will now look at business benefits that might be gained by implementing scheduling or optimization to scheduling processes. This list can give you ideas of possible scheduling benefits. As you can see, scheduling can increase labor productivity, minimize downtime, and much, much more. These are just examples, but depending on your organization, you might realize hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in business benefits. These business benefits apply in addition to the one on the previous slide, when you use an external scheduling tool, such as Microsoft Project or Primavera. Which option is right for you? This question is something we would like to discuss with you directly. To kickstart the process, we put together a preliminary list of questions that help you to determine which solution is most suitable for you. How large are your projects? Do you already use a project management system and methodologies in your organization? Have you worked with SAP scheduling before and what is your experience? 
These are only a few questions out of a question catalog we have prepared. We can use your answers to determine the best solution for your specific business. If you have any questions or if you would like us to help you with your selection or implementation of your scheduling approach, send us an email to info at vestapartners.com or contact us via phone at 203-517-0400. Thanks for your time and have a good day.